We are given the vectors in set B form a basis. We're asked to find the B coordinates of vector X, where vector X has coordinates 18, 10, relative to the standard basis. The coordinates of vector X relative to base B, or the B coordinates of vector X, are equal to the transition matrix from S to B, times the coordinates of vector X relative to the standard basis. And the transition matrix from S to B is equal to the inverse of the transition matrix from B to S. And then we still have times vector X relative to the standard basis. And the inverse of the transition matrix from B to S is equal to the inverse of the matrix formed using the basis vectors from set B. So we need to find the inverse of the matrix formed using the basis vectors from set B, where the first column is the first basis vector of negative seven, negative four, and the second column is the second basis vector of two, one. And then we have times the coordinates of vector X relative to the standard basis, which are the coordinates given, 18 and 10. The next step is to find the inverse of this two by two matrix, which I've already done to save time. The first row of the inverse is one, negative two, and the second row is four, negative seven. And then we have times the coordinates 18, 10. This two by two matrix is the transition matrix from S to B, which is what we need to convert from standard basis coordinates to B coordinates. Multiplying, the first coordinate is one times 18, plus negative two times 10, which is 18 plus negative 20 or negative two. And the second coordinate is four times 18 plus negative seven times 10, which is 72 plus negative 70, which is positive two. So now we know the B coordinates of vector X or the coordinates of vector X relative to basis B are negative two, two. I hope you found this helpful.